Welcome back to the shop. And today we're kicking off our discipline series with how to manage money. And the reason for the discipline series is because I see a lot of weakness in myself and in others. So this year we're working to become stronger. We're going to become stronger mentally, physically, and spiritually. And the way we become stronger is we challenge ourselves a little bit each day. I would come stronger. All right, well, it's the everyday part that gets most of us, and that's where the discipline comes in to make ourselves do it each day. All right, well, along with doing it each day, we have to put our foundations in place first. Okay? Vision without work is a daydream, work without vision is a nightmare. One of the truest statements I had ever heard. Right, well, we've got to have a vision, a goal for what we're working for. Okay, that's part of the foundation. And we also have to know exactly what to work on to make sure we're working on the right things to achieve that goal. That's another part of the foundation. All right, and as far as money itself, we're starting with it because that's one that'll help a lot of people and most of us don't know how to manage money and i worked with a guy years ago i remember one day he he was just mad he was angry at the company we worked for because he didn't feel like they were paying him enough money well the reason he was angry was because he had a lot of financial problems at the time hey i, I did myself but <laughs> But he was angry because of that, and he had a lot of stress as a result of those financial problems, and in his mind, if the company would just pay him more money, pay him what he thought he was worth, then that would solve all of his problems, or his financial problems. And even then, I didn't know much, but I knew enough to know, just knowing him personally, that him getting paid more was not going to solve his problems because he didn't know how to manage money. And I realized something that day that time has since proven right, and that's if we can't manage a little bit of money, we can't manage a lot of it. Lottery winners. 70% of lottery winners are broke within seven years of winning the lottery. They couldn't manage a little bit of money. Then they got a lot. Well, they certainly couldn't manage it. But being able to manage our money once we understand it and then we put those foundations in place, we apply that discipline, well, it's amazingly easy to do. So what does it mean to manage our money, to manage our finances? Well, that's easy. It means deciding where we want our money to go. Us deciding how we're going to spend our money instead of it just disappearing. And that's it. It, it really is that simple. Right. But in order to do that, we have to know where it's currently going. And that part sounds easy, but do you know where you spent every dime last month? I know I don't. <laughs> and I was just going through my uh, statement for my checking account, and I saw some expenses on there that I have no clue what they're for. A few of them, I suspect if Mrs. River were to look at them long enough, she might recall what those were for. Yeah, we got to talk about those. <laughs> and then I saw some more expenses for my other channel. Okay, how much exactly did I spend on my other channel last month? Well, I don't know. But that could be some really useful information. So I need to figure that out. And keep in mind, we're all president and CEO of our own corporation. You are the president and CEO of you incorporated. That means you get to decide where you're going to put your resources to achieve whatever goals you want to reach. And it, it seriously is all about goals. This isn't about getting rich or wealthy unless that's your goal. But maybe you just want to do other things. Like maybe you want to go on vacations more. Okay, well, maybe there's some areas you could cut back on and then take that money and then put it towards your vacation fund, like restaurants. Maybe you don't care that much about restaurants, so if you cut back on eating out at restaurants, 
put that towards your vacation fund. Or cut back on your vacation fund and eat out at restaurants more if you want to. It's your decision. And managing your money doesn't mean, hey, life's over and you just got to sit at home in the dark from now on and be miserable just so you can have money in the bank. That's not what this is about. This is about just making conscious decisions about where you want your money to go. And because you are the only employee of you incorporated, <laughs> you've got to go out and you've got to get that information on where it's going now, just so you can make informed decisions. All right, so that's one of the foundational things to be able to go get that information. And the other is defining your goal so you can decide where you want it to go. What are you working toward? For myself, I use an app on my phone called Mint. And it's put out by Intuit, the uh, same people that do QuickBooks and TurboTax. And it links to my bank account, and my bank account has categories for all of the expenses it automatically assigns, and then Mint keeps up with those also. And every so often I have to go through and I have to just correct a lot of them because they get the categories wrong. They're just guessing. But once I go through and correct the categories and... For cash expenses, I'll just write down my cash expenses in a little notebook I keep in my Tahoe. And then I'll go through and put those cash expenses in Mint. Well, that way at the end of each month, I can go through and I can look at all the categories and see where my money's going. And there's different apps for this. I hear Dave Ramsey has a good one. There's a lot of them out there. It's just this is the one I've been using for a long time. All right, well, once I see where my money's going, Okay, and I can break it down into subcategories also. All right, so I'm spending so much for utilities, electricity, uh, cell phone bill, internet, and so on. Okay, well, once we know where our money's going, every so often we can go through those expenses and we can look at how do we save money on these things. Okay, in my case, my phone. I bought this. This was a refurbished, unlocked, and uh, Samsung Galaxy running Android. And I think this was a F20. All right, I bought it on Amazon. Got it for a really good price. And for my cell service, I'm using Mint Mobile. Different from the Mint Financial app. Okay, well, I tried Mint Mobile for a month. I liked it. They had a good deal going. I said, and I signed up, and they had a thing. It's pay by the month with Mint, but if you signed up for three months, you got a discount, six months a discount, a year, you got a discount. The biggest discount was for a year, so I signed up for a year, and I think I'm paying like $35. It averages out to like $35 a month for my cell service, and I have unlimited everything and great service. Okay, that's a simple way to save money there. Um, auto insurance, every now and then, you know, that's coming out pretty regular. Every now and then, go shop around for auto insurance. Go through everything on your expenses where your money's going and do some shopping on these things. And that's low-hanging fruit there. That's easy stuff. It might not be but a few dollars, but hey, if I can save 15 bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, $5 a month, by just changing cell plans, and I like the plan I got that I changed to, that was easy money. Same for changing auto insurance, unless you just really like your agent or something. Okay, and then as far as going through all the categories, I can go through and look at food. Okay, I spent this much in restaurants, and I spent this much at grocery stores, and I spent this much in vending machines. Well, I can look at that and I can say, okay, I. I spent too much at restaurants last month. I don't want to spend that much, so I'm, I'm going to cut back this coming month on what I spend in restaurants. Well, that's all budgeting is. It's just deciding I don't want to spend any more than this on whatever category. I don't want to spend any more than this shopping a month. If I want to meet my savings goals or my goal for getting whatever I really want. All right, so that's just... Budgeting is really simple. It's just deciding ahead of time where you want your money to go, where you're going to put your limits, 
so that you can get the things you do want. Okay, and then for myself, it was getting complicated with my personal checking account with my other channel and all of the expenses from it and then the income with it and just keeping up with that and what was personal and what was for the channel and it was getting, it's a mess. So two weeks ago I went and I started a business. I got a business license and a business checking account and I'm moving everything to that for the business or for the other channel to that account. All right, well now all of my expenses and whatever I make is all going to be in that account. Well, it's going to make it easy to manage that. Plus there's an, a huge advantage to doing that. I'm going to save money. In the past, because it wasn't a business, the government said, well, that's a hobby. And they were taxing me on my hobby but not letting me count any of my expenses as deductions. Well, now my expenses just became deductions on my taxes. I'm going to save money. All right, but I, that's going to help me organize my personal finances. That's going to help me organize channel expenses and so forth, manage everything better. But I had to put in work ahead of time to do that. That was the foundation building part. Now, I did have to put in some time, half a day, at the bank and at the courthouse, getting the business license and setting up the business account and filling out paperwork, all that fun stuff. So I had to put in that work there. But it, it was just for that one time. All right, now that's in place and it's going to help me. The app meant I had to figure out how to use it, how to navigate through it. I had to link my different accounts to it. And so I had to put in that work on it and figure it out, that effort. But those things I only had to do once. Okay, so that's the foundations. The, what are the things we need to put in place that are going to help us achieve our goals? All right, by doing those things, that's going to help me. And my vision, my goal, is to have that little place out in the country with some land, and a large shop, a little house, and a garden. Okay, but I want to pay cash for it. That's the catch. I could have already done that, but I couldn't have already done that and paid cash. So, but that's my goal. That's my vision, what I'm working towards. And now I just have to make sure I, each day I'm thinking about, okay, stay in my budget. Each week go through the app and sort my categories, and each month, go through and, hey, where did my money go? Did, did I stay within my budget? Did I save as much as I wanted to? What was my cash flow? Because what I made for that month, what I spent, the difference, that's my cash flow. Did I reach my goals? I just had, have to have that discipline to stay on it. And if I do, I, I will achieve my goal. And now I invite every single one of you to First of all, figure out what is your vision? What are you working for? What is your goal, your dream? Next, what are the foundations you need to put in place for you for what you're doing? Because your foundations aren't necessarily going to be the same as mine. And then I also invite you to join me this year and staying on it, that discipline part. And then let's see how close we can get to achieving our goals by the end of this year. So we've kicked off the discipline series now. We're working to become stronger mentally, physically, and spiritually. And I wanted to start with money. Because first of all, the work I just did trying to get myself organized. But also because this is, it makes such a difference in your life. You just can't believe how much less stress there is in life once you start really managing your money. I mean, it's, it's life changing. And it really is not that, it's not that difficult to do. It's just most of us never learned how to do it. They don't teach this in school. And they don't teach it because they want you stressing over money. They want you in debt up to here. And that's another thing. I, I'm debt free. I worked a long time to get out of debt. I'm debt free. 
And I believed in being debt free long before I ever heard of Dave Ramsey, but I love his philosophy and I encourage every one of you to go listen to him. Well, you just can't imagine the difference in your mental outlook on things when you are debt free. Okay, I could lose my job tomorrow and it's not the end of the world. Now, that doesn't mean I'm trying to lose my job. It, my job's helping me accomplish my goals. It's providing me that income and I'm thankful to have it. And I'm going to go in tomorrow and try to do a, a good job. But I'm not stressing over it if I were to lose it. Right, well, that's because I'm debt free. And so many of you, you're stressing over money so much and I hate to see it because there's no need. And managing money. A lot of you, at the end of the month, you've got $5 left over and that's it. So all you've got to manage is $5. I've been there and I know that sucks, but manage that $5 to absolute best you can. And if you stay on it, that's that discipline part. All of us, when we stay on it and keep putting in that work, we get stronger and we get better at it. Okay, series is kicked off. Next week, I think we're going to do food because that's the other thing I've been working on is eating better to drop a few pounds, and that's something that also that could help so many of us and something else that just... I've got food allergies, and I had to cut out some things, and I had to learn how to eat healthy because of my allergies. I just did not realize how difficult that was and all the changes it takes to eat healthy just in our culture and our society. So that's, I think that could help a few of you out as well, just understanding that. All right, God bless and have a great day and I hope to see you next time.